So Nunzio, what is the starting point for you when you're creating a painting? What, what comes first? Is it the colour palette or is it the concept? Uh, it's a bit of both actually. Sometimes I may have an idea in my head that I just need to get out. Um, other times I may be triggered by a colour that I see and start mixing colours and, and, and again see what comes out. And you're Australian but you've got a very strong sense of your Sicilian heritage. Yes. How does that play out in your work? Uh, well, it comes out in a number of different ways. Uh, I guess for me growing up as a son of immigrants in uh, working class Victoria, we lived a Sicilian life, so it's, it's been ingrained in me. So there's, there's a sense of struggle and residual sort of energy that, that you can see going to Sicily or even within the family. And when you look at my paintings, there's a lot of emotion coming through. But what about the Australian influence? I mean, how, how influenced are you by our culture, by our light, by our landscape? Yeah, well, light plays a really big part. Not so much more the Australian aspect of the light, but more the, the seasons, I guess. So um, I know in summer, with the sort of the hard shadows outside and the bright light, I'm full of energy and it just really comes out in the work. Uh, in winter, you know, it's a bit slower, it's a bit darker. I mean, your semi-abstract work, so that's how I describe your work, has received a lot of acclaim. But have you experimented with other genres? Well, yeah, so I, I do paint realistically as well. But what I find is, why, why would I paint something realistic when it's better represented in a photograph? I've played with uh, sculpture and ceramics, but I know I don't have the patience for it, um, which I, I do find with um, painting, I can get a, an immediate response down and then look at it and come back to it later. It does sound pretty magical. I haven't asked you about colour. I need to know, do you have a favourite colour? I mean, colour is such a strong element of your work. I'm looking at these, I can see, you know, the fluoro palette there and then the much more sombre palettes elsewhere. What, 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 what does yeah, colour mean to you? Colour is, is, is really about mood for me. I'll, I'll look at a colour palette of, of what I've produced and I'll remember what I was feeling. But it's even funny that whenever someone comes up to me and says, oh, I've got one of your pieces. And I'll ask, what, what piece mm. is it? And it'll take me back to that time. I always want to know, you know, um, what it is and what, what I was feeling at that time. So it sounds like you have a very strong connection with your own work. Oh, completely. I mean, I selfishly would love to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes I've got, to, I've got to get rid of a few. But um, yeah, I do tend to keep quite a few for myself. I have sort of noticed that people want to inject a bit of colour into, you know, their environment. Yeah. It could even be a response to, you know, what we've all experienced recently where we were sort of cocooning, it was a bit of a dark period and, and now we want to live life and I guess, yeah, it, it could be coming through my work subconsciously. I mean, portraiture is such a recurring theme in your work too. I mean, every work I look at is based around the concept of a human face, yeah. albeit a very abstract human yeah. face. What, what's that about? What's, what's the thinking behind? that. Why is it coming through in my art? I, I, it's just the human connection for me and the, the fascination. Um, and, you know, I always say, oh, how many friends have I got around me today? Because yeah. I'm, I'm literally, you know, creating <laughs> people in a way. Um, it's bizarre. I mean, I've certainly noticed over the last few years, you know, a growing passion for art. I mean, art seems to be absolutely centre stage now in, in most people's idea of homes and interior design, interior decoration, but also that sense of owning something that is bespoke, yeah. that is created specially and that there is only one of. Is, is that an important part, do you think, of the process? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, it's like a prized possession. Mm. Um, I always, whenever I produce a piece, I, I think, well, can this hang in a gallery and does it stand on its own? And uh, is it unique? And I, I think the whole uniqueness and, and sort of one of a kind is, is really important. Um, people are investing in a piece of art and needs to be special. Mm. Um, so yeah, definitely, there's, there's, a, there's a great aspect of owning something yeah. that, that no one else has. Exactly. And, but they also want to know not only that it's bespoke and that, and that they have the only one, but they want to know the story behind it. And who created it, why it was created, yeah. where it was created, when it was created. Yeah, and I find that fascinating that, that um, people say, oh, I would love a Nunzio Miano. It's like, oh, OK, <laughs> it's, it's just me. But um, mm. yeah, it's, it's quite fascinating that, that people uh, love the story and, and, and love the process mm. and, and want to be part of it. I, I feel so grateful. So yeah, it's um, feeling blessed. <laughs>